It's March 2023 and you downloaded the latest version of Launcher Manager to get it working again with your Fire TV and Fire Sticks. But Amazon keep removing it. What do you do? If you're watching this video as a short, tap the thumbnail in the bottom right hand corner to see the full video. If you're already watching the full video, hang tight. More details coming up shortly. Don't forget to like this video, share it and subscribe to my channel. Doing these three things help us make more great videos for you. So first of all, for those of you that didn't know, Launcher Manager is back and working again. So it basically means when you turn your Fire TV stick on, if you've got Launcher Manager installed, instead of seeing the stock launcher like this, when you turn it on, you will see a custom launcher like this. Also, when you press the home button on the remote control, instead of seeing this, you'll once again see the custom launcher like this, removing all the advertising. Now, you can also, as a bonus with uh, Launcher Manager, you can reassign all of the buttons on your Fire Stick or Fire TV or Fire TV Cube remote control. That's the four buttons there. You can program them to open whatever app you like instead of the assigned button itself. This is a great little bonus for you as well. But as of recent times, the new version of the app was launched. It became very popular and then Amazon started removing it from people's Fire Sticks and Fire TV Cubes. Now, what do you do to get it back and stop Amazon from removing it in the future? Well, it's very, very simple. And I should say here, if you haven't tried Launcher Manager before, or you've tried it in the past and it stopped working for you, then have a look at my video that I'd done a few weeks ago, which showed you how to download and install it and get it working once again. There'll be a link to it in the description and in the comments down below. But getting back to this video, so all you need to do, if the app has disappeared for you, press the home button once on the remote control to make sure you're back to the main menu. Go across to the settings cog just over there on the right. Go down to MyFi TV, middle button, go down to developer options, middle button, and just make sure that ADB debugging is still switched on. And also that apps from unknown sources is also switched on. Or if you've got install unknown apps, go into it and make sure that downloader is switched on. Then press the home button on the remote control once to go back to the main menu. If you can't see downloader, then press and hold the home button. That's the picture of the house till this menu appears. Go across to apps, middle button, go down to downloader, middle button. And then once you see this screen here, press the up button once, then middle button to get the keyboard up and type in there 21203. That's 21203. Then press the play pause button. And then hopefully this should take you to my website with loads of great downloads. And once you're at my website, just keep going down. If, if this cookie notice gets in the way, then OK it. So just move the red circle over OK and then middle button and keep going down until you see Launcher Manager. And you should see here there is a date next to the version number. That's 118 and on my screen at the moment, it's got 3103 2023. So that was the version that was launched on the 31st of March, 2023. So get your circle somewhere over the cog there, the yellow cog, middle button, and then hopefully it should start to download. And there we go. Once you see this screen or a screen similar, keep pressing the down button until you go to cancel. Press the right button once to go to install, middle button. And then once it says app installed, middle button again. OK, we don't need to keep this this file here because this is just going to take up loads of space on our Fire TV stick. And Fire TV sticks don't have a lot of space to spare. Different with Cube, but if you need this again, you can just download it again. So don't bother keeping it, whatever device you're using it on, because it is just taking up space. So press the right hand side of the ring on the remote control to highlight delete middle button. Then press the left hand side of the ring on the remote to highlight the second delete middle button. And then just keep tapping the left hand side of the ring on the remote until home is highlighted middle button back button twice and then hopefully there you should see launcher manager that is the blue icon with the white cog inside it middle button on the remote control 
and that will launch Launcher Manager. Now, hopefully, it should have saved your previous settings. That's if you had it installed before. Lots of users have reported that it has actually kept their settings from the version of Launcher Manager that was removed. So hopefully it's kept yours too. I hope this has helped you. Let us know in the comments down below whether it has helped you or not. And whilst you're here, if you need a new Fire Stick, a TV Cube, or you need a VPN, have a look in the description of this video. Have a look at our sponsors. And if you do need one, then go through them. It really helps support this channel. And also, whilst you're here, stick around. Why not have a look through my YouTube channel? I've got thousands of other videos covering all sorts of subjects. Hopefully, whilst you're here, you'll find something to educate you, entertain you, amuse you, and maybe even save you some time and money.